today, Tesla did a bit of a press release. They have, quote unquote, some new products-ish, sort of. There are some changes to the Model S lineup. And I will go over some of, well, I'll go all over all of them with you. Um, for starters, originally the 70D was four-wheel drive availability only, dual motor. It is now available with or without the dual motor. So you can now get a single motor 70D and it's a wee bit cheaper than the dual motor. Uh, cash price, single motor, 70 grand. Dual motor, at 5,000, so 7,500. Uh, then we have the 85 packs. Well, we have a new battery in the mix. Actually, we don't know if it's a new battery or they're just unlocking the standard battery and getting rid of the uh, a bit of the buffer that they might have already built into it. Um, but there is now a 90 kilowatt option, which will give you five kilowatts more. What does that five kilowatt more give you? Uh, well, let's see. Range upgrade. Upgrade your Model S to a 90 kilowatt battery uh, for maximum range. Available as an option on all 85 kilowatt battery equipped cars. This upgrade increases range by 5%. So 5% would equate to, and the Tesla browser is really lagging for me right now. Uh, anyways, it adds about 15 miles to your range. The cost to upgrade, $3,000. So for an 85D, that will give you, it doesn't tell you exactly what that'll give you. Oh, there we go, 200 and s it still says 270. Um, yeah, it's not calculating out quite right on their website. Their website's just getting hammered right now. Uh, it took almost 10 minutes just for the home page to load. It took about four minutes for the uh, order menus to load. Next, uh, as if insane mode wasn't enough for most people with the P85Ds, uh, there's now a ludicrous mode. And I have a feeling Elon's been watching a little bit too much space balls. Ludicrous speed. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't stop at plaid. Uh, so, there is now for a $10,000 upgrade. Your P85D will be a little bit faster. Instead of 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, it will do 0 to 60 in 2.8. How about that, folks? That is not bad at all. Uh, pretty much everything else has remained the same. Um, oh, ludicrous speed upgrade, $10,000. And ludicrous speed decreases 0 to 60 miles per hour time for the Model S by 10% to 2.8 seconds with a quarter mile time of 10.9 seconds. Time to 155 mile per hour, which is the current top speed, is now 20% faster than a standard Model S performance version. So far has remained the same. Spoiler, thousand bucks. Uh, standard equipment's all the same. Autopilot, convenience features is still a $2,500 add-on. Um, premium interior lighting is still three grand. I still think they should have left the uh, DRLs and the uh, door handle and the interior lighting as standard like it was when I got mine two and a half years ago. Uh, ultra high fidelity sound, still 2,500. Sub-Zero package, still a grand. Wow, rear-facing jump seats just really went up in price. 
uh, well, not lately, it's been as high for a while, but those are three grand. It was a $1,500 add on when I got my car. That is a huge, huge price difference. Uh, it must be because it slows down production a bit. Uh, and they, of course, no longer do um, after purchase upgrades, factory install only. Let's see, fully, let's just say fully loaded. Well, base uh, P85D with insane mode, range upgrade, 114,000 air suspension, premium interior lighting, 14.5, a whole lot of bucks. 